Hi guys, my name's Sam Greco, K1 Legend, and I'm with my man Jimmy Cruden, and we're at North Melbourne Boxing and Fitness. Today we're going to show you a technique about getting on the inside of the clinch and making an attack. Here we go. We're going to just work off the clinch. I allow, the, allow my opponent to make the first move for argument's sake, for the sake of this exercise. The moment you get caught in the clinch, rule number one is always a good base, okay? Tilt your head back, lock your head back, nice strong neck, and lift your shoulders up slightly, okay? To break these elbows. Once you've done that, I want you to slide, make yourself thinner, okay? Turn your body on a 45 degree angle, okay? Cupping your hand behind your opponent's neck and your elbow is on his chest. Do not have your elbow up because you can slide forward. You want to drop that elbow down, prevent your opponent from coming forward. Secondly, slide the opposite hand in and clinch both behind the neck, squeezing your elbows together or your forearms together. Note how my elbows aren't straight, my elbows are forward. If your opponent wants to walk forward in towards you, he can't do so, okay? So from there, what I want you to do is clinch. Now I've got the options of kneeing here, whether I knee to the midsection, whether I knee to the body, I knee to the leg, whether I knee to the opposite side of the body, or knee straight up to the head, okay? Simple, but what I want to do is something a bit more extravagant, so to speak. Okay, what I want to do is take the guy off center. I'll step forward or step on a 45 degree angle with my right leg, spinning my left leg away, twisting his neck, neck around. Remember one thing, if you can control someone's neck or someone's chin, you control their body. So here it is. I step one, I step across. See how I've turned across from here. I let go of my left hand, keep my right hand tucked in, and it gives me the option of a knee. Bang. Once again, the guy clinches. First thing I've done, I've looked up, clinch, clinch over, holding here, lifting my shoulders up, driving my right hand in, make myself narrow myself out. Note again, my right elbow's against that, that chest. Secondly, sliding my left hand in also. As I've got a double clinch here, you control that neck, control that chin. Step across, spin around, let go of one, boom. There's your right knee. And once I, do, once I develop the right knee or hit him with the right knee, depending on where he's at, I'm in southpaw position, straight left hand, right body, bang. You can also hit that back leg if you like. Your options are there. Once again, a bit more real time, the guy clinches. Note that I've locked up already, I'm in. I'm in again. I can't get a step through, there it is there. Boom, bang, bang, whatever I want. Oh. 